Alright, hello and welcome back to Adventures of Well of Me. Today we're going to be continuing some more of our Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links uh, videos. Um, I thought, why not start off by creating a new deck and let's build one for Joey. I have no idea how this is going to go. Because um, what have I got in him at the, at the moment? It's just kind of like an auto deck with a lot of... Uh, Spell cards because I had a mission where I had to do a whole lot of spells. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna actually create an auto deck, and then I'm gonna alter it here and see what we can do to fit within Jelly. Um, that's generally how I like to create them. So let's let's have a look here. What actually works? Like nothing. So we'll get rid of the spellcaster because he's not really a spellcaster type dude. And not really a machine dude either. Well, so far, this is uh, successful. I just like to see what um, it actually puts forward for them. So we're like a warrior. Oh yeah, I've got this prismatic ray, which is absolutely awesome. Got that the other day. It's my only prismatic ray. So dragon and warrior is what I'm thinking. That's an alright card. Let's get rid of that one. Alright. Uh, mountains. Crazy attack has a dragon, wing beast, and thunder. Yeah, we can add one of them. Um, I'm just looking at the new cards. Now, I do know... I've got this one. Which is cool. I've actually got two of it. Do I have two red eyes? I do have two red eyes. So I could do two red eyes. Ooh, red eyes, black dragon, equipped with metal morph. I reckon if we do one of those, I do have a uh, metal morph, I believe. So we'll look up that one. No, I don't have metal morph. Okay, well, let's not add that. I thought I did. Or is it one word? gonna be one word, isn't it? Yeah. Let's just look up metal. I don't have metal more. Yeah. Huh. There you go. I was pretty sure I had metal more. Okay. Well, in that case, yeah. we'll still have two blue eyes. Uh, let's go into the monsters and let's filter it. We'll go dragon. Uh, we'll go... Beast and Beast Warrior. Let's see what we get here. Alright, Alligator Sword, definitely we're gonna add two of those. I like running two of uh, each monster rather than three for a lot of them. Mm, could do Mystic Horseman. Oh, Beast Warrior and one who holds souls. Um, is gonna be a lot harder than I thought. Definitely gonna add Baby Dragon. And. Um. Extra deck as well, because we do have. Well, I'm pretty sure we have. Um. What's it called? Let's turn the filter off. Yeah. The one that Alligator Sword and Baby Dragon piece together with. No, we don't. All these cards I thought I had, but I don't. But we do have Flame Swordsman, so we're definitely going to put him in there. Um, so for that, we need. Um, Masaki. The Legend of Sword, Masaki. I don't know how to spell it. Mas. Yeah, yeah, here we are. So we need this dude. One of those. Um. Oh, what? 
I can't remember the guy's name. I know it's a spellcaster type. So monster filter. After I just did let's get rid of spellcasters from the deck. Uh where are we hiding? Yeah. Flame manipulator. So add you, then filter. Go back to dragon, beast, and beast, warrior. Warrior. Let's let's check these ones out. You know what? What have we got so far? So uh, what I'm thinking, I'll go through, add some, and then we'll take them out and work out what's really good for the deck. Um, hmm, what have we got that kind of works? I reckon we can go obnoxious Celtic Guardian. Yeah. Pink. Element Dragon's pretty good. Got 19 cards. Da, da, da. I'm almost tempted to get rid of like, one of the red eyes, but I feel like the red eyes is going to be what gets us through. So that's 6, 12, 13. Do we do. Um, trying to decide what else we could put in here. Turning out to be a lot more difficult than I thought. I reckon we need a truck out. We need uh, polymerization as well. Oh, that polymerization, where are you? We've got two of you. Where is it? There it is. Warrior type. One, two, three. That's base warrior. Four warriors. Is it worth it to then put that in? How can we need another trap card? Some sort. I always like conscription. Because it can add a good card to your uh, field. Other than that, I might leave it at that, so that's 22 cards. It's not like the greatest deck, but we'll check it out. I've only got the life point boost. Um, doubt we're really going to make any progress with this deck. We'll try one PvP duel, if not we'll switch back to another deck that I've got. Let's see what else we can do. I've just been losing, so that's doing anything. I'm usually not being bad, I don't know what's going on at the moment. The thing is, like, a lot of the cards I want to use in the decks, I don't actually have. Um, and that makes it hard. So, question is then, can we beat this? Interesting hand. I mean, I want to get more Axe Raider. But he's a super rare. Which definitely does change it up. I do like the fact that I got the Prismatic one after all that, though. It was crazy when I um, pulled that. I was so mad I didn't get it on camera. It was like the day before I started recording um, the Duel Links videos, I got it. I was just out, I was sitting in the lounge room playing away, I was just like freaked out. Like, Prismatic Red! Like 1 in 300 chance or something. So that was cool. Hopefully I don't get. Oh, I'm waiting for a response. Ooh. Hopefully I don't get too much interference from the fan I've got in the background because I'm still recording on the same day as the last time. Uh, 34 degrees or whatever in uh, Victoria. At least where I am. Um, Sorry, that's Celsius, so whatever that is in Fahrenheit, I don't know, you guys are going to have to tell me. I'm trying to remember, my grandpa did tell me um, the conversion, but I can't 
can't remember what it was. Oh, don't do this with the response. Oh, we can't win just because of that. Sometimes I feel like that is the case. I'm gonna win just because. I like to swipe up for the attack, but sometimes I just end up moving the whole screen and it's like awkward. Reinforcements. Okay. I'm just waiting, I want him to tribute. I want him to tri I want him to ring out like red eyes so I can then chuck that on it. And then could have take that baby dragon. It's not too bad. Take a little bit of damage, but it's not gonna be the end of the world. So I'm trying to work it out. So on my turn, I have to look at my screen because I've got to touch the screen. But on his turn, or on their turn I should say, let's not be sexist. On their turn I can look at the computer screen. So I'm at least looking up a little bit. <laughs> now I'm recording the whole video like this. I would love to see um, any deck profiles that you guys have. Any deck that you have been using in this, let me know in the comment section down below. I would absolutely love to see um, how they compare to something that I've made or something that other people have made and posted on um, YouTube um, competitively. How they fare in PvP, all that, all that stuff. Lots of note. Description. Yeah, this is what we want. Let's get another ring for this. No, actually, the fifty. That's right. I can give it that. So draw a card, and then I want to play Conscription and get an awesome monster on the field. What are we gonna heal? What are we gonna heal? Kind of a terrible connection at the moment with the internet. For some reason my iPhone is sick. Um, is terrible when it comes to connecting to Wi-Fi or like, using GPS. No fan of courage. Um, it's one thing that I've found has not not been good on a for me. Um, I've had a lot of issues with my Wi-Fi um, just dropping out. I remember would have been um, last year. I went to Queensland for a holiday, and when I came back, for some reason, it just stopped working. I think it might have been water damage or something to it that stopped the um, phone from working as well. But the Wi-Fi just dropped in well, like in quality. Um, whereas I've got my iPhone 5 here, and I use this to watch videos, and I can walk out in the backyard, walk out to the letterbox, and it still connects to Wi-Fi. Whereas with the iPhone 6, I find that walking one room away from my um, my modem router, and it disconnects. So I thought originally it was just the modem router, but it seems to be more than that. Oh, what am I doing? Pick that. I don't know what it was doing. The princess is going to add that monster to your hand. Okay. Can we, like. Oh, yeah. Hmm. I thought that was, like, a quick spell. Yeah, and, um, anything that uses the JPS on the phone, I find that it just doesn't track. So whatever's going on with it, it is so frustrating. Um, I'm wanting to upgrade to a seven or get a um, new six or get a six S. Yes. Um, it's just frustrating. Like, oh, poo. Um,
Let's play Mask of the Accursed. We're gonna lose this. I, um... should have done that before, I just loved it. It doesn't matter, but... Ugh, it's not really the greatest deck. But then again, out of all the cards that we have drawn, we have probably two thirds monsters, one third spell trap cards. And for some reason, we drew many as well. Yeah, we're dead. Man. That deck really did not work. Hmm. Do we try one more with that? Why not? Let's try once more with uh, that Joey deck, and we'll see how we go. Probably going to record another video straight after this. Probably not going to do another deck profile. Probably use the Mako one again. Um, go from there. Basically, you're not gonna lose if you rank. Apparently. Before um, the changeover, I did get up to gold rank 3. So now I'm just stuck on silver rank 1, which is so annoying. Let's do that. Hopefully, we can get Conscription to work and we can get a monster from it. To play a monster. Or something. Yeah, and then we can play conscription. Hopefully we get something from this. Ooh yeah. Then we can see. What is really weird thing? I've got a light there, and for some reason in my glasses frame it's actually um, reflecting the light twice, which is what I get when I usually don't wear my glasses. I get like a double image, like a ghost image when there's a, like something there. So whatever it is, that that light is like playing up and I keep thinking it's like smoking and I'm freaking out because it's very faint. So if you see me like making weird faces, that's all it is. I just, my mind's uh, playing tricks on me. Mm, so this guy's got a lot of four star lady like the dude. He might win this one. Might. Oh, I wonder what what ability does he have? Let me check that. Frame. No. Oh yeah, let's activate that. See <laughs> if there's anything we could change or check with the settings there. Never actually looked. Is that gonna stop it? No. no. Let's take that one. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> and flame manipulator. Oh, we could have had flame swordsman. All right, let's use this dude. Look the cards from your deck to add to your hand. Okay. That was weird. So now you do 200 more damage. I could have used a uh, flame manipulator and taken out that other one. And why didn't I think of that before? Oh, they surrendered. No point surrendering, just play out the rest of the duel. Who wants to, to duel the king? No. Alright, so we actually won something of that, with that deck. 
Now, I'm not sure if that's because we just had good pulls and they had bad luck, or if we've constructed a semi-decent deck that could possibly win. I mean, I think most decks you can at least have one or two wins off them. Like, you're not gonna always have a... We'll do one more match and see how we go. Not always gonna have loss. Like, that's the thing, you're not always gonna lose. Alright, so we'll see how this goes. Let's play the last duel today. 20 minutes already left. Winner will go up rank. Ah, okay, so at silver rank 1, we can't go down a rank anymore. Because we hit gold. Last, uh, ladder. So whoever wins this is going up a rank. Scab on me. <laughs> That's just, oh, it's really awkward. Keep cutting my my um hand at work, and it's not healing. Really bad. Bleeding. Alright. How do we go about this? Funnily enough, with that fan going on in the background, the uh. Laptop isn't really overheating too bad, and I'm not getting as much lag in the recording. Random facts, it's cooling it down just enough. So at the time of this recording, I'm still waiting for a um, delivery. I've got like a care package coming. What's cool with that? Ordered a whole lot of uh, random loose boosters for Yu Gi Oh! We ordered some um, Beyblade uh, trading card game booster packs because I've got two decks for those already. I might actually get those out. I opened them up, but I've never played the game. No one's ever wanted to play with me. Um, but I've got some of those that we can we can check out on the channel. That will be cool. And I also have um, a, a structure deck coming. Um, won't say which one just yet. Uh, so that's that's cool. That's that's on its way uh, in that package. Um, I also had two star packs as well. I think it was 2013, 2014 star packs or something like that. Um, two that I haven't opened before. Uh, let's check element dragon out there. Um, so I've got a whole lot of boosters coming in one structure deck, and I also have a um, a exclusive pack, I believe is what it's called, um, which is a booster pack you could get, I think, in America, that had um, all the cards from the Pyramid of Light Yu-Gi-Oh movie. So I've got that coming as well, I thought we'll open that up and have a look at those cards because I don't have any of the ones that I originally had because I got rid of my collection ages ago before I started collecting again, which is just before I started my YouTube channel. I think I've covered that all before. Um, so that's one of the things, it's um, I think it's eight cards that come with it, or nine cards or something, something like that, and it's just the cards that were used within the movie, so I think it's like Blue Eyes Shining Dragon. Um, you get the Sphinx cards that we use, you get the Pyramid of Light. Um, yeah, just a few different things like that, which is really cool. Like, I, I like them. Um, that's why you got rid of that. And that's 1,900 or more. Hmm. Don't know if we'll win this round. Um, so yeah, I've got that coming and I'm looking forward to opening that. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Um, I had some singles that I ordered, but I'm not going to go over those on the channel uh, at the moment. They're going in my Magician deck that I've uh, mentioned previously. Um, once I've constructed that deck, I'll show you a deck profile of that, and hopefully, will you first one? Hopefully I'll um, go down and play a match at the local game door and we can uh, record a video maybe, see how we go with that, or um, do like a bit of a vlog before and after, like do the deck profile, 
go, uh, go play the further day. And then, um, and then, yeah, I'm just trying to work out what I'm doing. And then afterwards I can let you know how I went. See, this is a more intense duel. Question is, are we going to win? So I feel like their best choice at the moment is actually would actually be to destroy this thing. This monster I control. Yeah. Like I was saying. Give me a trade up. That's not who I said. The obnoxious Celtic Guardian. Set. Sit. Set. Oh, just Celtic Guardian. Alright, let's start over here, so I need to finish this video off as soon as possible. going to do? Uh, <laughs> hopefully this way. <laughs> I don't want to get like carried away and say it's going to work when it doesn't. Cannot be destroyed by battle with a monster that has 1,900 or more attack. That's what we want. Waiting for a response all the time. Sweet! So now the objective is going to be to destroy it with a monster that's got glass. I just loved Celtic Guardian in the show. One of my favourite um, Indian skiers. And we'll set Masaki. And we're just going to have to pass. Nothing much I can do, that's the issue now. Kinda stuck. Um, so it's not the greatest deck for comeback. Like it's good for if I can get my monsters out, I can get uh, red eyes on there, and we'll be alright. But other than that, it doesn't offer much. <laughs> uh, countering. So that's kind of a downside. Like it's great for getting in there and just owning, but if they've got a spell that throws me off, or they've got a monster that I can't defend against, then we're kind of screwed. <laughs> yes, we'll chuck it in. That one. I hate to take out all our monsters. Damn. Much better duel, I like. Oh! Time limit win. They timed out. They timed out. They spent too long. Wow. That is so bad. But we want to go up around. <laughs> oh, see what I mean? Like. I'll win one and I'll lose one and then I win for some stupid other reason. Timeout or like just disconnect. Okay. Well that's that. That's the jelly deck. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna be recording with next time, but I'm gonna get straight into it. I'm gonna take like five minute break and record another video after my laptop's cooled down a bit. So <sighs> I'm loving dual links, hoping you guys are enjoying it as well. Uh, but that's it for today. Uh, hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Definitely um, let me know what you guys want to see on the channel. Um, and subscribe if you're not subscribed already to see more content coming your way. And also hit that bell button to be notified when that content comes out. Uh, as for what's going to be popping up on the screen in a second, there'll be one video that is Yu-Gi-Oh related. You can click on that to get to um, that. There'll be a link that will pop up. And also there'll be a um, another video suggestion which will be based on your interests. Uh, YouTube has decided that one for you. So anyway, 
click on one of those to see more content. Have a great day, and I'll catch you next time.